All right, let's do another example where we have, uh, we need to write an equation of a line, and we're already given one line that's in standard form. Now, this one can be kind of tricky. Um, we just have to know a couple of tricks and understand what it means to be perpendicular. Okay. Remember, to be perpendicular, the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So, the way we can take care of that and stay in the uh, standard form is to just switch the coefficients and change the sign of one of them. Now if I just flop these coefficients around and I make this negative 9x and a positive 8y and of course I gotta figure out what is this number over here. Just by switching the coefficients from what I had up here will only give me the reciprocal in terms of our slopes. In order to get the negative reciprocal I have to change the sign of one of these guys. Now, I can make this guy positive or I can make this guy negative. I'm going to make this guy positive because you want to make sure that your x coefficient is positive. That's the way most books and uh, most instructors like to have a standard form. So if I make this guy positive, then positive 9x plus 8y will lead you to something that will be perpendicular to 8x minus 9y. Now, all you're going to do now is use the x and y that were given to you and plug them in. So I'm going to plug in my negative 5 and my positive 7. When I do that, I've got a positive 9 times negative 5 is negative 45 plus 8 times 7 is 56. And this gives me a positive 11. So using this guy, and knowing what, what my form is supposed to be, I can easily write my equation. 9x plus 8y equals 11. If you were to solve both the original equation and this guy for y, you're going to find out that their slopes would be negative reciprocals. And you can also plug in negative 5 and positive 7, and it's going to work out because you're going to have a negative 45 and 56, which, which gives you a positive 11. Now, just so that you know that I'm not lying to you about perpendicular lines, if you solve this guy for y, take this out on the side and solve it for y, and you would end up with the following. You would have positive 8 ninths x minus one-third. And the slope for this guy would be, of course, 8 over 9. That's why I solved it for y to begin with. If you take this and you solve it for y, you have y is equal to negative 9 eighths x plus 11 eighths, which means the slope for this guy is a negative 9 over 8. When you compare these two slopes, positive 8 over 9, negative 9 over 8, these guys are negative reciprocals. So you see that the two lines that we have are perpendicular. So we're good. All right, now let's do a couple more quick little guys right here. Uh, not, related to be, not related to the standard form and all that jazz, but let's do something a little bit easier. Okay. Suppose I say I want to be parallel to the line y equals 5, and I want to pass through, I want to pass through the point negative 71, 89. Now, you could go through and worry about big complicated equations and all that, or just understand what's going on here. If you were to sketch this out, okay, understand that y equals 5 is just a horizontal line. Okay, here is y equals 5. Nothing fancy about that. Now, what does it mean to be parallel to a horizontal line? It means to be another horizontal line. You just have to figure out what that horizontal line is. 
Now you need to go through the point negative 71 and 89. Now, please note that this is not to scale. It doesn't need to be. It's just trying to get you, under, get you to understand the concept. If this is negative 71 and this is 89, for example, okay, here is your ordered pair. Negative 71, 89. If you want to be parallel to a horizontal line going through this point, then you will need to be a horizontal line going through that point. And remember that every horizontal line is of the form y equals. So in this case, what does y equal? Well, y has to equal 89 in order to be this horizontal line. So there is the answer to this problem. Are these guys parallel to each other? Yes, they're both horizontal lines. And will this line right here go through the point negative 71, 89? Of course it does. All right. One more. And we'll finish up the section here about writing equations of lines. What if I say that I want to be perpendicular? I want to be perpendicular to that same line, y equals 5, and then I want to pass through. I want to pass through the point negative 6, negative 4. Well, again, I could draw a little sketch over here to see what's going on. Here is y equals 5. Now, what does it mean to be perpendicular to a horizontal line? Parallel was another horizontal line, but to be perpendicular means you're going to be a vertical line. So, I need to be a vertical line that goes through the point negative 6, negative 4. So this is what my this is what my line looks like. But what is the equation for this line? What is the equation for any vertical line? Any vertical line is going to be of the form x equals and just a number. There's no y. Um, if there were a y, then it would not be a, a vertical line. So in this case, x is equal to just negative 6. And there you have it. Uh, there's not a lot to do here. In fact, you couldn't use an equation. I mean, sure, you could look at this guy and say, oh, okay, uh, my slope here is 0. Okay, yeah, good job. And then what is your perpendicular slope? Oh, it's, uh, it's undefined. Because if I do 1 over 0, it's undefined. Great. And are you going to plug undefined into a formula? Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't look very well to multiply undefined times x. So, think about it conceptually. Look at the graph. You are a horizontal line, and you want to be perpendicular. So that means you need a vertical line. If I'd started with a vertical line I want to be perpendicular, then you would have a horizontal line. All right, so this concludes um, the section on finding equations of lines. Remember, the key things that you need to know in order to work this section successfully, a couple of formulas, OK? You need to know the formulas for your slope, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You need to know your point slope formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And of course, you need to have good working knowledge with your slope intercept form and of course, your standard form.